Yeah, as I said, I'm absolutely delighted to be back playing with the boys. I really missed the, being back on the pitch. Obviously, it's been a tough three to four months out watching all the boys playing and doing well. So I'm absolutely delighted to come back and just be a part of it again. Yeah, of course, it was absolutely, I think for me, it was a minor setback because everything was going to plan. I was playing games, got called for the national team. Everything was going well. And then obviously the injury has come, which is a bit disappointing. But it's things that you've got to go through and you've got to have a strong mentality about it to get through it. And I think throughout the whole time that was happening, there was dark days where I was like to myself, I want to be out there because I can see the boys training and playing and they're doing so well. But at the same time, it's like if you carry on working hard, the injury that you had will, will fizzle away and you'll be back to normal how you was playing. So you just got to make sure you have the right mentality and the family around me were helping me. So yeah, it was tough, but there was good days as well. Now, I wouldn't say that I think it's just unfortunate what's happened. I think it's obviously... It's nothing that can, you can never time an injury, you can never plan something for that to happen. It's happened and I think to myself that if I could go back and take what happened away, I wish I could. But as I said, it's happened now and I've come back stronger than what I think I was before. And I'm trying to just stay mentally strong, physically strong and hopefully just getting fitter and fitter and getting better hopefully as well. And you're joining up with a 21 squad that's flying so far this season. Yeah, they're doing really well. I've seen most of the games, I was watching most of the games as well. They've won the last two. And I was watching the game in the groups as well. They've obviously won two out of two, top with Austria. And Austria are going to be a good t test as well. So we've got to make sure that we win that game, push them back a bit and hopefully get more points up on the table as well. I would say the transfer ban is a good thing for us because it gives more players opportunity to play because of what it is. But at the same time, I don't think it's really restricting anything. I think even if there wasn't a transfer ban, the young boys are still trying to push and work hard in training to push and to get a start in the team, not even a start, but opportunity to play. And we're all working hard as much as possible to get opportunities. And I think the manager is obviously rewarding all the players for who was working hard, who was training well and who's playing well. And it doesn't matter if you're, say, you're one of the best in the world, one of the worst in the world, as long as you have the right mentality and the work, and work ethic, I think everything will go away. And I think it's a good thing for us as well.